It's the Full Force News Burst Extra, brought to you by GeneralsJoesReborn.com, with me, Christopher McLeod, aka Diagnostic80. Another batch of brand new Super 7 and classified listings have shown up in the target system. Thanks to Darren Marshall, we have a few new listings to get stuck into via Target's internal system. We will start with Super 7 and three interesting listings that don't give us a ton of info, but we can probably assume a few things. There are two listings for a Joe Master and a Cobra Master. No idea what these could be, but we do have a price point of 2049 each. There is also no explanation as to whether we are looking at Reaction or O-Ring here, but it could be either. I doubt it's Ultimates related, as the first series are only showing up in Walmarts currently, so it's likely one of the other lines previously mentioned. We can still expect a few more reaction listings to show up, but they usually say on the listing what they are. As well as those, we have a highly requested and honestly fully expected listing for a fatal fluffy. Same situation here, we don't know if we are dealing with reaction or o-ring, but with no price point it's hard to say at this stage. Either way, I'm looking forward to what all of these are going to look like, or in some cases what they actually are. Ok, now we move on to classified. Darren sent us a number of target listings that have been added to the system, but it was only the one new addition that stood out to us. In the new list we have Retro Recondo, Retro Scarlet, Retro Beachhead, Retro Snow Serpent, Retro Duke, Retro Azrael, who we still don't know, and Retro Casey, who we know to be Cobra Commander. But the standout was actually the fact that they had both the Retro Cobra Eel and Retro Oki as separate figures. Now on previous episodes we had assumed that Oki was the eel, as we hadn't had a listing for the Cobra eel despite knowing he was coming thanks to a Hasbro name only reveal. This means we can expect another figure in that Oki listing place. We are aware of one more figure in the line plan for Retro, but we have to wait until they are name dropped on a Hasbro event or officially revealed before we can make them known. Either way, we don't know for sure if they are Oki anyway, but I'm sure we will find out soon. That's the only spreadsheet update, but it should also be known that Target have added the 60th Action Soldier, Action Sailor, and one of the other unknown listings, Ready DLX, which we know to be another 60th edition. No sign of the second rough figure in that wave, but I'm sure they will show up sooner rather than later. Right, that's your lot. What do you guys think? Excited to start seeing some of these new figures? Who do you think Oki is? Does this make you want to put on a red shirt, tan slacks and go to your local target to Ocean's Eleven, their internal system? Let me know in the comments below. Ok team, lots more content to come so keep it locked, stay fresh cheese bags and as always, full force. That's it for this instalment of the Full Force News Burst Extra. Thank you for watching, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. See you next time and as always, full force. Make sure you get involved with the discussion by liking, sharing and commenting on these videos and as always you can keep up with the show after listening by following on X, formerly Twitter, at The Full Force, liking the Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash The Full Force. We've also added a brand new Instagram so check us out there as well at The Full Force Podcast and if you would like to contact the show you can message us on any of those platforms with feedback and questions. We also have a Patreon page so if you want to show your support for the show, see your name up in lights on these videos or in enjoy exclusive bonus content then check out patreon.com forward slash the full force podcast or click on the link on any of the posts this podcast appears in full force